This unusual looking structure is the Udvar Hazi Center, an aviation museum located 50 kilometers west of Washington. It is home to a collection of aviation and aerospace artifacts so immense that only one word can adequately describe it, says the museum's deputy director, Joe Anderson. It's called a wow factor, and uh, you really get that. I wish I had a nickel for every time somebody walked to that, what we call kind of the pulpit area up there and said, wow. At three football fields in length and 10 stories high, the cavernous facility has some 1,000 tons of aerial artifacts hanging from the ceiling. Over in one corner of the building sits an Air France Concorde, and not just part of it, all of it. Turn the corner and you will find a full-size space shuttle test vehicle, the largest item in a huge collection that continues to grow. Ultimately, we'll have 220 airplanes and 180 large space artifacts, and you know what I mean by large when you take a look at the space shuttle in there. Named for a Hungarian-born airline tycoon, who donated $65 million to get this project off the ground, the Udvar Hazi today is a $300 million facility. Part of its mission is to help imaginations take flight. Uh, what we do is we commemorate uh, the pioneers of aviation and space. We inspire and we educate. And the, uh, we can't educate in one day, but we can certainly inspire people. Artifacts from the history of space exploration and commercial aviation share space with military aircraft, including the Enola Gay, which dropped the first atomic weapon in 1945, and this once futuristic, now obsolete SR-71 spy plane. You may wonder if they will ever run out of space here. Actually, we are going to phase two. Uh, we'll almost double the size of the, this place right here when we bring all the restoration work, the library, the archives, all the things that we have and put them, actually put them on display for the public. For producer George Dwyer, Jim Burtell, VOA News.